Welcome. So this is the first episode of the Decred Fundamentals. We're just going to take a quick journey into where blockchain came from, where it's heading and why I feel Decred is so important to the space and why it's doing things that other projects haven't done or are, or are unlikely to do. And the way that everything that every way in which Decred goes forward, it's always a positive for the user. It's always a positive for the people that are interested in actually having a fairer system. So let's just delve in and, and see what this is all about. So in 2008, the world was subject to a financial meltdown that was thought to have started in the US housing market. So the adverse consequences of these events caused governments and central banks across the world to intervene with bailouts for the same entities that caused the crisis. At the same time, leaving the masses to foot the bill, reducing their standard of living and their financial security. In subsequent years, we've seen these decisions play out in full, and at every turn, the vast majority of the world's population has been left out in the cold, and the wealth divide has grown exponentially. The solution to the financial meltdown of 2008 was to inflate the money supply and devalue the currencies. The world needed an alternative or an equilibrium to the solution. An opposite to the cause would be a fixed money supply that could not be inflated, stolen or devalued by central entities. A currency that is governed in the interest of the coin holder and secured without the need for central parties would be a massive step forward. Now this is where the peer-to-peer -peer money solution came in. So in 2009, the first Bitcoin block known as the Genesis block was mined. This contained the message that would signal the intention of the project. So here's the message. The Times, the 3rd of January 2009, Chancellor on brink of second bailout for banks. This is where I find it's really interesting. So the foresight to see the direction the financial system was headed was nothing short of miraculous. And to develop a solution to the problem in less than a year was perfect timing. At last, and probably the first time in history, the masses have a global currency with a fixed maximum supply of 21 million coins. Most importantly, the solution is open sourced and it's an alternative to the legacy financial system to store your wealth. The value of Bitcoin being released as an open source project meant that whether the project was successful or not, others would be able to pick up the mantle at any point in the future and drive the development in the direction required for the time. This was a truly selfless act and a gift to the world. 12 years on and Bitcoin is running as expected, but the cracks are starting to show. Essentially, blockchain technology is software that comprises a client or software client, network connections and a distributed database known as a blockchain. Each of these parts needs to be maintained to keep the protocol secure and working as intended. One of the biggest issues Bitcoin faces is the conflict resolution and the inability to solve problems and update without fracturing its community. This was played out in full in 2017's block size debate that gave way to the birth of several Bitcoin chains, including BTC, BCH, which is Bitcoin Cash and BSV, which is Bitcoin Satoshi's vision. Without a decentralized and verifiable form of governance, these community fractures are likely to continue long into the future. Arguably, Bitcoin was never meant to solve these mundane problems, but instead its mission was to give the world a blueprint that it could take forward and improve over time. After building out a full node implementation of Bitcoin called BTCD and the tool set called BTC Suite, Company Zero used their developments to start a new blockchain project that would include the best bits of Bitcoin with the best in class governance system. In the eyes of the team, building governance from the beginning would allow the project to develop long into the future. At its core, Decred improves on the original design of Bitcoin by implementing the maximum supply of 21 million coins, a hyper secure hybrid proof of work, proof of stake solution that makes both miners and coin holders responsible for the security of the chain. A governance model that aligns majority voting with the direction of the project, which in turn makes Decred fork resistant. Decred improves incentive alignment by including miners, stakeholders and the Decred treasury in the mining reward. Decred also has privacy that doesn't obscure supply audibility 
and a high throughput by aligning ticket buying with privacy mixing. Finally, Decred has a decentralized treasury to help fund all areas of the project, meaning that it doesn't rely on outside funding that could manipulate the long-term goals of the project. In a nutshell, Decred has picked up the peer-to-peer digital money mantle and has continued the mission of developing a fairer system for all.